Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a fascinating and introspective topic. If your body is experiencing this, God is saying, inspired by the profound teachings of Dolores Cannon. Dolores Cannon was a renowned hypnotherapist and author who believed that our bodies could serve as conduits for divine communication, offering us clues about our spiritual journey. So grab a comfy seat, maybe a cup of tea, and let's explore how our physical sensations might be ways for God to speak to us. We often overlook how interconnected our physical and spiritual selves are, and these sensations can carry important messages. In this video, we'll uncover six key signs that might indicate God is trying to communicate with you through your body. Let's get started. 1. Lack of sleep. First up, let's talk about sleep, or rather, the lack of it. Have you ever found yourself tossing and turning at night, unable to drift off? According to scripture, this might be more than just restlessness. Sleep is considered a gift from God, a sign of His peace. Psalm 4, 8 tells us, In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. So when we're struggling to sleep, it could be a signal that our spirit is troubled. Perhaps there's something unresolved in our hearts. Or maybe God is urging us to spend some quiet, undistracted time in prayer. When we can't sleep, it's often because our minds are racing with worries, regrets, or anxieties. This state of unrest can be a prompt from God to address these issues directly. Consider it an invitation to bring your burdens to Him, to seek His guidance and peace. It might be a time to reflect on any unconfessed sins, to seek forgiveness, or to pray for those who have wronged us. Remember how Jesus stayed awake in the Garden of Gethsemane before his crucifixion to pray? He used that time of sleeplessness to prepare himself for the trials ahead. Your sleeplessness might be a divine nudge towards similar reflection and preparation. Instead of fighting sleeplessness, try embracing it as an opportunity for spiritual growth and deeper communion with God. Use this quiet time to read scripture, meditate, or simply talk to God. You might find that this divine dialogue brings you the peace needed to finally rest. Eat two, lack of hunger. Next, we have the sensation of not feeling hungry. While feasting symbolizes joy and abundance from the Lord, fasting often represents a time of spiritual grief or deep contemplation. Throughout scripture, fasting is a powerful spiritual practice. Think about King David fasting for his sick child, desperately seeking God's mercy. He refrained from eating, focusing all his energy on prayer and supplication, hoping for divine intervention. Similarly, Jesus mentioned that his disciples would fast when he was no longer with them, indicating a period of mourning and spiritual yearning. If you find yourself losing your appetite, it could be a sign that God is placing a heavy burden on your heart this loss of hunger might be his way of calling you to draw closer to him, to seek his presence more fervently. During these times, consider embracing fasting as a spiritual discipline. Use the moments when you would typically eat to pray, meditate, and reflect on your relationship with God. Fasting can help clear your mind and focus your thoughts on the divine, allowing you to hear God's voice more clearly. It's a time to lay your burdens before him, to seek his guidance, and to find solace in his presence. Remember, a lack of hunger isn't always a physical issue. It might be a spiritual signal encouraging you to engage in a deeper, more meaningful dialogue with God. So the next time you notice a decrease in your appetite, take a moment to pause, pray, and reflect on what God might be trying to communicate to you. 3. Physical Symptoms of Stress Moving on, let's discuss stress. We all know that stress can wreak havoc on our bodies, causing muscle tightness, nausea, or even paralysis. These physical symptoms might be more than just the result of a busy life or overwhelming responsibilities. They can also be indicators that something deeper is at play. In Matthew 11:28, 30, Jesus invites us to bring our burdens to him for rest. He says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. 
If you're feeling physically tense, it might be God's way of telling you to lean on Him. Stress often builds up when we try to carry our burdens alone, forgetting that we have a loving Savior who wants to share our load. Muscle tightness, headaches, or other stress-related symptoms can be God's gentle reminder to turn to Him, to release our worries and anxieties into His capable hands. In these moments, take a step back and reflect on your relationship with God. Are you trying to manage everything on your own? Are you neglecting your spiritual health in the pursuit of daily tasks? Use these physical signs as a prompt to reconnect with God. Spend time in prayer, read scripture, and remind yourself of His promises. Jesus offers us a gentle yoke and a light burden, reminding us that we don't have to carry our stress alone. Embrace His invitation to find rest and peace in Him and allow His grace to lighten your load. 4. Aching Bones from Grief Have you ever felt grief so deep it physically hurts? This aching in your bones can be a sign from God. While worldly grief can leave us feeling hopeless and lost, spiritual grief is different. It's a powerful tool that leads to repentance and renewal. This profound sorrow is not meant to overwhelm us with despair, but to nudge us towards a better path, signaling that we might be straying from God's intended direction for our lives. When we experience such deep, bone-aching grief, it can be God's way of getting our attention, urging us to examine our actions and attitudes. This type of grief often surfaces when we recognize our sins or mistakes, prompting us to seek God's forgiveness and guidance. It's a call to repentance encouraging us to turn away from harmful behaviors and realign ourselves with His will. In the Bible, King David experienced this kind of grief after his sin with Bathsheba. His bones ached as he carried the weight of his guilt. But this pain led him to sincere repentance and ultimately restoration with God. Psalm 32 3. 4 describes his experience. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy on me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. If you're feeling this deep physical grief, consider it a divine prompt. Take time to reflect on your life, confess your sins, and seek God's forgiveness. Allow this sorrow to transform you, guiding you back to a place of spiritual health and wholeness. Embrace the opportunity for repentance and renewal, trusting that God's grace is sufficient to heal and restore you. 5. Sickness Now, let's talk about something a bit more complex. Sickness. Not every illness is a message from God, but sometimes it can be. The Bible tells us that sickness can be a way for God to get our attention especially if there's hidden sin in our lives. For instance, 1 Corinthians 11.30 mentions how improper behavior during communion led to sickness for some individuals. This passage reminds us that our spiritual state can impact our physical health. Similarly, James 5.16 advises us to confess our sins to each other and pray for healing. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. This verse highlights the importance of spiritual health and community support in the healing process. While we shouldn't automatically assume that every illness is a divine message, it's worth considering if there might be a spiritual lesson behind it. Sometimes, God uses sickness to prompt self-examination repentance, and spiritual growth. It can be His way of drawing our attention to areas of our life that need healing or change. If you're experiencing illness, take a moment to reflect on your spiritual health. Are there unresolved issues or unconfessed sins that need addressing? Use this time to draw closer to God, seek His guidance, and lean on your faith community for support. Remember, God is compassionate and merciful, always ready to heal and restore us when we turn to Him with sincere hearts.
6. Sexual desire. Lastly, let's address something very human. Sexual desire. These urges are natural and, according to scripture, they're not inherently wrong. In fact, sexual desire is part of our God-given nature. However, they can carry deeper meanings and should be understood in the context of God's design for our lives. In 1 Corinthians 7, 9, Paul explains that strong sexual desires can be a sign that God is guiding you towards marriage. But if they cannot control themselves, they should marry, for it is better to marry than to burn with passion. This scripture suggests that experiencing strong sexual desires might be God's way of encouraging you to seek a loving, committed relationship where these desires can be expressed in a healthy, fulfilling way. Marriage is seen as the proper context for sexual expression, providing a safe and sacred space for intimacy. It's important to recognize that sexual desire, when aligned with God's intentions, can lead to deep, meaningful connections that reflect His love and commitment. However, if these desires are misdirected or lead to actions outside of God's will, they can cause harm and spiritual disconnection. If you find yourself struggling with strong sexual urges, take time to reflect on what they might mean for your life. Are you being called to pursue a deeper, more committed relationship? Are you in need of self-control and guidance from God to direct these desires appropriately? Use this time for prayer, seeking God's wisdom, and understanding His plan for your sexuality. Embrace these desires as a natural part of your humanity, but strive to honor God in how you manage and fulfill them. Each of these physical experiences can be a gentle or sometimes not so gentle nudge from God. It's all about tuning in and paying attention to what our bodies are trying to tell us. Whether it's a lack of sleep, a decrease in appetite, or feelings of stress and grief, each sensation holds the potential for spiritual insight and growth. Remember, the key is to approach these signs with prayer and reflection, seeking to understand what God might be communicating through them. Thank you for joining me on this introspective journey. If you found this video enlightening, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our Balanced Journey channel for more content like this, and don't forget to comment, share, and like. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on our latest videos exploring topics related to spiritual and emotional well-being. Share this video with someone who might need to hear these messages, and let's embark on this journey of balance and spiritual growth together. Until next time, take care and be blessed.